Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start into the Bitcoin price action, I want to say thank you very much uh, for liking my video yesterday and also we hit over 200 views. That means a lot for me. So thank you very much for your support, my friends. And uh, I would very much appreciate if you can continue to moon up the likes, tune in every day into every day's uh, TA. And uh, that is uh, really important for me. And that's why I also thank you very much for your support. And uh, that's why also we are doing always every week this Bitcoin uh, $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway that it's uh, sponsored by BitYard. And also I'm doing the uh, $50 Bitcoin giveaway every 500 subscribers. So thank you again very much for your support, guys. That means very much for me. And I know we have a very great community. Shout out also to all the people over on Discord. Thank you very much. You're really the best. And now let's get started and let's see what is the next move here on Bitcoin. Because currently we are still in this consolidation wedge here after pushing here towards $11,000. And uh, currently it looks like that we could see a breakout possibly today. So I'm watching here uh, the breakout to happen to the upside or to the downside. I'm still leaning uh, more to the bearish side that we might go down to fill this CME gap at $9,600. But the fact is that Bitcoin can even hit 20K before we're going down to fill this gap. And that's why I think the pump maybe it's not over yet and we still can continue to go long and uh, buy also some more altcoins in order to swap it over back into Bitcoin and multiply our Bitcoins. So now guys, if you have any kind of altcoin that you want me to uh, analyze and to also share to our community, then please let me know down below here in the comment section what altcoin are you watching or what altcoin uh, you want me to make a TA where maybe we could expect a nice breakout Currently, I have my eyes glued on Ethereum and the Litecoin, maybe even XRP because XRP slowly it's looking like that it could uh, break out also to the upside that uh, could follow all the Litecoin and Ethereum. But I think uh, especially on, on Litecoin, we still have a lot of room left to the upside. And here we could expect some more fireworks, especially if Bitcoin is continuing to pump here. And here on Bitcoin, uh, I usually trade always over on uh, Bybit and some altcoins I trade over on Bityard. Uh, if you also want to trade on Bybit or Bityard, then you find all the links that you need to sign up down below here in the video description. With my links, you support the channel and also you can get some sign up pony currently on Bybit $90. On Femex, $72 and on BTR, you can get, depending how much is your trading volume, up to $258 in uh, Boney. And the last Boney here is uh, around $200, which you will get in cash. So not a, it's not a Boney or coupon or whatever. It's cash that you will get if you surpass, I think, 1 million in trading volume. And uh, this exchange here, Femex, I very recommend you, especially if you also want to trade gold, because here with your Bitcoin, you can easily convert it into US dollar, trade gold and then convert it back into Bitcoin very, very easily and simple. So if you want to take advantage also on this pump that we are seeing currently on gold and you don't want to go and buy physical gold, then here also you can take advantage of this uh, big pump that we are seeing also on gold and trade gold on Femex as well. If you need an account, the link is down below here. So let's go back here into this uh, wedge because here you see that currently we could have a potential breakout here to the upside and uh, watch out here for $11,300. That could be a heavy resistance here because also here we had here just a week and this yellow line up here is the resistance of this big rising channel that we are in currently. So even though we could see a breakout here to the upside, which should take us at least towards $12,000, we still could get rejected here at around $11,300. So this is important to break right now. It looks like that if we break out here and also break this resistance, we could see big fireworks to the upside because also the 20 moving average in the one hour is still holding as a support. When we're seeing this kind of breakouts, it's also good to go into the lower time frames, like here the one minute or 15 minutes. So you can see if the price is coming down here, if it's going again below 
the previous resistance or it's staying here above so watch out also for the lower time frames here in case that you see such a breakout because also in the lower time frames you can see confirmation that the old resistance is now new support and then you can go long so currently here i'm looking for a good long position and i think uh, we could get here ready to open up a long in case that we are seeing confirmation here in the lower time frames so watch out for this and therefore also maybe later i'm gonna go live over on twitch so if you have twitch follow my live streams over there uh, you find also the link to my channel down below here in the video description because there we do live and then uh, i upload the replay here on youtube but maybe if we trade over there it's gonna be too late if you watch just the replay over on youtube so make sure also that you tune in when i go live or at least uh, join our free discord trading chat the link is also down below here when i go live or something new is coming up uh, we always post it here on the on the live chat is completely for free and everyone is uh, welcome so here in the one hour it looks like that we could see a potential breakout uh, from this uh, wedge also we have the rsi trading above the 50 stochastic is coming up into overbought condition uh, but that is okay we can stay in this area for quite some time before we cool off uh, but important here is that we are holding here with a 20 moving average which currently is at uh, almost 11,000 dollar and if we switch over into the bollinger band you can see that we are squeezing again in this tiny channel and we should expect here a breakout pretty soon macd could have a bullish cross here which is a, a confirmation that we could have a lot of uh, fuel here in case that we're gonna break out here this eleven thousand three hundred dollar area so watch out here for the bullish cross in the macd in the one hour and also the confirmation that right now the old resistance here at eleven thousand one hundred is the new support and now let's switch over into the four hour because here you can see that in case of a breakout to the downside in case that we're just gonna get rejected up here and we're starting to trade again here uh, below 11,000 watch out for the 20 moving average in the four hour which is currently at around ten thousand five hundred dollar uh, the thing is that currently we're still very overbought here in the rsi and stochastic is coming down to oversold conditions so we have a bit uh, weird the situation here with the stochastic and rsi so we could see a possible fake out as well but in case that we really are able to break through here and also break this eleven thousand three hundred dollar we should be good to go uh, to the upside and uh, now let's switch over into the bollinger band in the four hour and let's have a look here what is going on because here we are still trading the upper area and here you can see we have a lot of room left we could easily go towards eleven thousand six hundred dollar and test the top of the bollinger band in case of a rejection watch out for the middle line again here at around ten thousand five hundred dollar and in case that we're going to lose that important support then the bottom here would be at around nine thousand six hundred dollar where also the cme gap is lining up so it makes very much sense to go and fill this gap right now because it's still in the cards so that we can go then immediately up towards the, the new uh, all-time highs or at least test 14 sixteen thousand dollar again macd could have a bearish cross in case that we're gonna get rejected here in this area and we're starting to trade again towards ten thousand five hundred dollar so here the macd in the four hour is looking bearish and if we go over into the daily time frame here also you can see that currently we are very overbought in rsi and stochastic and we are far away from the 20 daily moving average which currently is at around nine thousand eight hundred dollar and here in my opinion it looks like that we could see a possible bart simpson pattern where we just had this big pump to the upside consolidation and then another big sell-off towards the 20 daily that wouldn't mean that we will crash down towards 6000 or something like this but at least we could retest the 20 close the cme gap down below here and then continue here again the push towards 11,000 and higher that is in my opinion very likely because we're still very overbought here in the daily but as i told you bitcoin can continue this uh, parabolic move for a very long time before we're gonna get somewhere rejected and see a major correction so it's no financial advice this is just in my opinion be ready also in case that uh, we're gonna see a major correction down to those levels so if you're longing then make sure to put a stop loss if you're buying right now up here maybe also put a stop loss or at least don't go all in also keep some fiat on the sideline in case that we're going again towards 9600 to buy some more bitcoins over there 
And now let's also have a look in the Bollinger Band in the daily because here also you can see that we're still overshooting it to the upside here, the Bollinger Band, we're still above. We didn't even retrace back into the upper area here of the Bollinger Band. So a correction is at any time possible, even though look at the MACD is uh, really starting to take off here. So the MACD is really going parabolic here. And that's why I think also on Bitcoin, we still can go way, way higher here, even towards 14,000 before we're seeing any kind of correction here back into the Bollinger Band in the daily. But you see also here the middle area is at around $9,600 and that's why I'm telling you it is very likely that we will see a retracement back to those levels to fill the gap and then potentially have the real big breakthrough all these important resistance that we have above of us and start to create new all-time highs or at least start to test again 16 and $20,000 again. And now we can also have a look here in the weekly time frame because also here you can see this rising channel where we are now since many weeks and we are testing right now the top so you definitely don't want to long the top here you want to long the bottom to ride it up then again only if we're really able to break this eleven thousand five hundred dollar and start also to build up support above then we could be in a parabolic phase where we could even test 20k before we could go down to close the CME gap at $9,600, which usually gets filled. It's not guaranteed, but usually every CME gap is getting filled since 2017. Since we have the CMEs, almost every gap, especially the ones in the bigger time frames, like we have right now that you can even see in the daily time frame is getting filled the question is only when and that's why i'm telling you this gap will get filled eventually at any time hopefully soon so that we can start to take off here completely without having any cme gap behind of us so since the breakout here from this 10k resistance i think we have the confirmation that bitcoin will start a parabolic move pretty soon the question is only really if you're first going down to close this gap before we're starting to take off or are we going to close this gap once maybe we're going to reach a new all-time high so that's why you cannot just trade only based on cme gaps all right guys and with that said we're going to wrap it up for now don't forget leave a like subscribe to the channel tick the little bell and also let me know if you want me to analyze any altcoin that you have in mind and also put it down below here in the comment section or write it down over in the discord trading chat subscribe also to the twitch channel because later on we're gonna go live thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye